Den Witaskiewicz. Mr. Speaker, it's now 420 days since Parliament passed a unanimous motion which referenced the, quote, alarming rate of suicide in Canada, called it a, quote, national health crisis, and demanded that the House take, quote, immediate action to institute a nationwide three-digit 988 suicide prevention hotline. My question for the Minister today is simple. What is the current number that Canadians should remember so that in their darkest moment, they don't have to do a Google search to find the help that might save their life. The Honourable uh, Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank my colleague for his important question. Our government remains committed to implementing and fully funding a national three-digit mental health crisis and suicide prevention hotline. The CRTC is currently considering public input from consultations that have been extended and replies will be accepted until March 2022 to accommodate additional interventions in formats more accessible to persons with disabilities such as video. We understand the urgency of implementing this crisis line and we will ensure we get it right, including that it has the capacity to connect people to the most appropriate support. The Honourable Member for Edmonton, Wetaskiwin. Mr. Speaker, if the government doesn't know the number, how can Canadians be expected to? That Google search will eventually tell you that the 24-7 number for the Canada Suicide Prevention Service is 1-833-456-4500. Six, six. Since that December 2020 vote, more than 4,500 Canadians have tragically lost their lives to suicide. We have so much work to do together on mental health in this country, but this is a relatively easy first step. By what specific date will Canada finally have an operational three-digit 988 suicide prevention hotline? Parliamentary yeah. Secretary to the Minister of... Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, and again, I thank my colleague for his question. On comprend l'urgence de mettre en œuvre cette ligne et nous allons nous assurer de bien faire. We understand the importance of implementing this line, and the line has to be able to connect people to the most appropriate service in the most appropriate way. Cinq millions de dollars. We're spending $25 million over five years to develop and implement a, a pan-Canadian suicide prevention system that's entirely operational and will eventually be able to provide services. Dundas, South